There was an op-ed that came out that I sent to him in New York Times recently that I thought was really interesting, which, which said, we, we, we have to stop pretending that Trump is not one of us. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's a really difficult thing to, to deal with at the moment. And, 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 and I understand the emotions are very high, but I think that's the only way you're going to grasp this film. It's, all it's saying is you cannot keep casting this person's side, especially after they get the popular vote. What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, everybody, check this one out right here, man. Look, we have been covering this over the last couple of weeks, uh, talking about these Hollywood stars, you know, just having a hard time dealing with the fact that Trump won the presidency. They are struggling, all right, mightily, man. These cats, it's all up in their feelings. They all having a moment. You got cats talking about, I'm leaving the country forever, you know, because they don't have a president that they want. You know, normal everyday people deal with that shit every four years, okay? Every four years, half the country going to be happy, half the country going to be mad. But we all ain't got the ability to just scoot up out of the country. But that's it. these people with all the money in the world, okay, that can weather pretty much any storm, whether it's political, financial, you name it, they can weather any storm. They got the boats, they got the cars, they got the mansions, they got the ability to travel everywhere they want to go. And this is, oh, I'm leaving the country because my favorite didn't win. What a bunch of bitches, man. <laughs> this is straight up, man. But look, it's getting worse than that, okay? It's not just these cats crying on social media or leaving their, you know, ex, leaving a platform. Now they're starting to turn on their own. Yeah, check this out. This is on Deadline. Uh, Hollywood A-listers afraid of Donald Trump's wrath over The Apprentice, Sebastian Stan says. Yeah, so uh, what Sebastian Stan, you guys know I'm the old winter soldier. Um, what he's talking about basically is they have this thing they do on Variety called Actor to Actor, where these two actors will sit across from each other and they'll talk about these two movies that they were in. And in this case, Sebastian Stan, who played Donald Trump in The Apprentice that just came out, uh, he can't find somebody to sit across from him and just to have a conversation about this movie because they are afraid to talk about Donald Trump. Donald Trump got these cats running scared like that. It is too funny. Let me play the clip so y'all can see what I'm saying. The amount of love that has that I've received, you know, from some of the biggest, you know, both of us, I think, in terms of actors, directors, producers, writers who have seen the movie and they rave about it, they rave about it. But then, for instance, you know, I had an offer to do Variety Actor on Actor oh, yeah. this Friday, uh -huh. and I couldn't find another actor to do it with me because they were too afraid oh to, to go and talk about this movie, so I couldn't do it. You know, and it doesn't matter. It's, that's okay. I, it's not. That's not to point a finger at anybody. You know, uh, I've gotten to do a lot of great things, but and that's not pointing at anyone specific. It was. It was. We couldn't get past the publicists or the people representing them because it was yeah. too too afraid to talk about this movie. And it's like that's when I think we lose the situation. Like, because if it really becomes like that fear or that discomfort to talk about this, then we're really going to have a problem. There was an op-ed that came out that I sent to him in New York Times recently that I thought was really interesting, which, which said we, we, we have to stop pretending that Trump is not one of us. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and, and that's a really difficult thing to, to deal with at the moment, and, 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 and I understand the emotions are very high, but I think that's the only way you're going to grasp this film. It's, all it's saying is you cannot keep casting this person's side especially after they get the popular vote. Should we not give this a closer look and try to understand what it is about this person that's even driving that? Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, and I don't know, I don't know if, the, if, if, you know, if the love is gonna translate into action, but, but uh, certainly it's there from what we're hearing. Look, I'ma keep it a buck. I think Sebastian Stan voted for Trump, <laughs> all right? He's trying to be very careful with what he's saying and how he's saying it. He's like, hey, man, don't y'all think we should listen and try to understand this guy that got the popular vote? You know, maybe we need to get outside of our bubble and actually talk to regular people. Now, he'll never come out and say it, you know, but I guarantee you, I think this cat voted for Trump, man. That's just me personally. Y'all draw whatever conclusions y'all want to draw. But it's wild, ain't it? He's absolutely correct. It's like, yo, you guys won't even talk to me about this movie. This is getting crazy. Y'all won't even talk to me about this person because you're afraid. You can't be afraid like that, okay?
We got to be able to sit down and have honest conversations. And if we don't, then where are we at as a country? Right. That's how you, that's basically what this cat is saying. That's a very level headed take, you know, coming from a guy in Hollywood. But we all know, of course, that there are plenty of people in Hollywood that are not as level headed as what Sebastian Stan just displayed. And of course, we start with, you know who? Yeah, Mr. Trump derangement himself, Mark Hamill. <laughs> Yeah, Mark Hamill, uh, who ironically, uh, ironically, uh, everybody wants Luke Skywalker to be played by Sebastian Stan. They say, yeah, hand Luke Skywalker to Sebastian Stan and let's just go ahead and recast him. Get Mark Hamill's ass up out of here. I'm all in. All right. I'm all for that. Send me something to sign and I'll do it. But uh, Mark Hamill, who is in a self-imposed exile, by the way, you know, He's not on X anymore. He is now chilling with Blue Sky. Uh, here's what he had to say in his latest post. Uh, Thanks to everyone, including me, in so many starter packs. I guess, like, if you're looking for people to follow, uh, they got these things called starter packs or whatever. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, You know, you can go on the Blue Sky and figure it out for yourself. But he says, that said, I'm still in a state of shock trying to process what happened to our country since the election. So I won't be posting on a daily basis. I'll be back at some point. But please forgive me. Healing takes time. (laughs) Healing takes time, y'all. Cut Mark some slack. Love you all. Mar and the stupid camel crap. Right. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's where Mark Campbell is at, all right? He is still in a state of shock, all right? Trying to process, all right? He's struggling, struggling with the process. What happened to our country? Oh, my God. So I won't be posting on a daily basis because, look, on X, he was on there on a daily basis, all right? Several times a daily basis. Flipping his lid, okay? He says, healing takes time. Yeah, healing takes time. It's going to take me a minute to heal, y'all. You know, give me some time. Look, I just learned recently, and I heard from a guy that runs a convention, right? I'm not going to say who, but he runs a convention, and he says, in order for Mark Hamill to show up at your convention, if you're a convention runner, you got to pay this dude a million dollars and fly him on a private jet. A million dollars and you got to put him on the private jet. He ain't flying first cat class, business class, none of that shit. Private jet. That's what it costs to get Mark Hamill to go to your convention and do some signings. A million dollars and a private jet. Oh, Healy's going to take me some time. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm straight up serious. Get out of here with that bullshit. I don't want to hear it. Okay. This guy, again, this is why these cats are so disconnected, because he's going to take this guy some time to heal. All right. Uh, To heal from this stuff. Look, you, me, all kind of people all over the country. We know cats that are not happy that Trump won the election and they had to get up and get their ass to work the next day and just get on with life. All right. I talked to a dude the other day. He was like, man, fuck, man, I, I don't like Trump. I don't like Trump. That's what he was telling me. But then like two seconds later, it was like, yeah, whatever, bro. How about them cowboys? You know, he was already moved on past it. Yo, where are we going for lunch, man? You going to eat here? We going to eat your... Like, yeah, people just move on with their lives. But Mark Hamill, oh, I can't be bothered to post on a daily basis to the suck ups that follow me, to the idiots that follow me. I can't be bothered for this. Healing takes time. Just for- <laughs> but... This is the one that takes the cake, the ice cream, the cookies, and takes it all, bro. Especially this fat fuck. He takes it all, right? Rob Reiner checks himself into a facility over Trump election. This dude had to check himself in. He had to check himself into a facility. I don't even know what that means. But Rob Reiner, who is a famous director, actor, and all of that crap from All in the Family way, way, way back in the day. All right? Super Trump deranged. All right. He has to go to a facility. You got to check into a facility. What the hell is going on here? Like I said, man, people are just going about their lives. They say, hey, man, it didn't work out for us. We'll get them in four years. All right. Back to work. Let me get back on this, you know, press. All right. Let me get in here and start driving and dropping these packages off or let whatever it is I got to do. Hey, Kevin, this dude got to gotta check myself here. Oh, my God, Kevin. Oh, my God, man. This is insane. What is wrong with these people? 
This is too hilarious, man. Shout out to Marvin Montanaro on That Park Place. Yeah, let's blow this up a little bit and let's read this, okay? Uh, actor, director Rob Reiner checked himself into a facility today after a series of increasingly alarming blue sky posts in the wake of Donald Trump's election win. Yeah, of course he's on blue sky, okay? Yeah, blue sky is nothing but a bunch of deranged weirdos, man. Everybody over there on blue sky is a weirdo. At least the people that's posting constantly, man. That's where all the weird people went. All right. That's where they all went to. Uh, Reiner, who made a name for himself as the character Mike Meathead Stivic on the sitcom uh, All in the Family, has not been taking the results of the 2024 presidential election well. An outspoken Democrat and activist, Reiner engaged in a prolonged social media meltdown that started when the election of Donald Trump was called on November 5th and ended up with a trip to a mental health facility early this morning. <laughs> God, he's done lost it, man. He's off the deep end. Uh, the director of films like The Princess Bride and When Harry Met Sally uh, left Elon Musk's X platform for Blue Sky, but quickly found out that it wasn't the social media paradise he assumed it would be. Uh, all the abuse and hate from Twitter has now spilled over to here. <laughs> there seems to be no point anymore. Yeah, no shit it spilled over there. You know why? You know why? Because all of the weirdos that you rock with on your side, they over there too. They did the exact same shit your weird ass did. They said, all right, man, I'm out of here. I'm leaving X. I'm going over here to Blue Sky. All right. You brought all the weirdos over there with you. Man, X has been lovely. It's been lovely, man. Not a whole lot of deranged weird shit going on. It's just like, man, nice and peaceful over here. I like it. You know, we having disagreements and stuff. People are kind of going back and forth, but it's not all of the, the derangement. Okay. Just normal conversations. I've been having more of them. It's nice. It's nice to read, man. It's <laughs> straight up. Uh, let's see. On November 20, Rob Reiner uh, it unleashed a series of posts on the platform that continued late into the night, <laughs> ultimately culminating in his arrival at a facility for his mental health. All right. So here's where it started, right? Uh, first, he said, Republicans have no idea what they have done. America has fallen. MAGA just do not understand the consequences of electing a fascist like Donald Trump. Donald Trump's been president before, G. Maybe you maybe you slept through them four years but or ate yourself into a fat man's coma. I don't know. But Donald Trump was president for four years. We know exactly what it means to elect Donald Trump. I don't get it, man. This guy, it's like these people keep trying to pretend this cat ain't never been the president before. We understood it. And those four years were great. The economy was booming. People had money in their pocket. We didn't have a whole lot of issues and problems with wars. You see the, all the war and all the bullshit going on right now. We didn't have that when he was in office. But when Biden gets in, oh, yeah, it's plenty of that shit. So, yeah, we know exactly what it is that we're doing. Um, he says here at 1057, a writer continued to rail against Blue Sky after receiving pushback on his earlier post. Apparently, when you spend your evening screaming about how evil half the country is, eventually they bite back. This platform is vile, racist, and evil. It did not take long for MAGA scum to come spread their lies. Nah, bro, that's your own peoples. Okay? There's some trolls over there. Don't get it twisted. There's plenty of trolls over there. All right? But a lot of this is you. Uh, seemingly disillusioned over the fact that Blue Sky was not the echo chamber he sought, a writer's evening tantrum turned towards defending comedian and talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, who recently followed through on an election, on a pre-election promise, leaving the country over Trump's election. He says, Ellen DeGeneres, whom I've known for a long time, is a beautiful and caring woman, had the right idea. She obviously does not want to be a part of a place that is filled with hate, evil, and fascism. Much respect to her for standing up to madness. Why don't you do what she did? If she had the right idea, instead of going into some mental health facility, get your ass out of the country. Follow her wherever she's going if you think it's going to be so much better, okay? She's gone, you follow her. What's the problem here, Rob? Then it says, speaking of madness, Reiner's next Blue Sky post came at 12.23 a.m. The former meathead confirmed that he would be checking himself into a facility for the next few days. And here's the post right here. Uh, I have made the decision to take the next few days to check into a facility for peace and relaxation. No phones, social media, no trolls. Just calmness to heal my pain. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love this first one right here, man. Stefan said, Trump broke you, LOL. Trump absolutely broke this dude. Trump broke his ass, man. Trump 
He is living rent free in this dude's head. Now he needs calmness to heal his pain. No phones, social media, no trolls. Why do you have to be on social media? You could just turn your social media off, my guy. Just turn your social media off, turn off the phone, chill in your own crib. Why do you have to go to a facility for peace and relaxation? Again, this guy is a major Hollywood director. He probably can go anywhere he wants to. He could just sit in his own house. But he gets to check himself into a facility, man. That is too funny. This guy said, you are evil. <laughs> You're a dumbass. Yep. All true. All right. This guy's calling him evil. No, Trump broke him. Trump broke his ass. Yikes. That's why you guys lost. 100%, man. That is exactly why these idiots lost. Uh, why not just turn off your stuff and stay home? What the heck is a facility? <laughs> I mean, you real talk. Just turn your phone off. That's what you do. Hey, man, you know what? I'm checking out of social media for a couple of days. Shit, Mark Hamill is doing that much. Mark Hamill said, nah, man, I'm just going to dip out of social media. I'm not going to be on. You know, I got to go heal my pain or whatever. If this dude got to do the same thing, just do it. That's, oh, my God, man. This cat is such a simp, man. Softer than baby shit. Looks like baby shit and softer than baby shit as well. He's going to a Vegas whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> or the nearest Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> going to KFC. <laughs> Only grease and flour is going to ease the burn. <laughs> this is why he checked out, man. Because you start talking all of that crazy shit, social media going to hunt you down, they're going to pin you down, and they're going to roast your ass. And that's basically what's happening with Rob Reiner. Man, that is too funny, man. Uh, excellent. You can run. Uh, breaking news. We have become unburdened by what is being... <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it, man. This is what happens, man. Look, Hollywood is in free fall right now. They don't even know what's happening with their own industry. All right. The film industry is struggling already. And now all of these cats are struggling with Trump. It's going to take smarter people like Sebastian Stan. All right. Going back to old Sebastian Stan, who says, hey, maybe we should try to understand the other side of this instead of sitting out here crying and whining about it. Understand why did this guy get the popular vote? Let's kind of step outside of our comfort zone and out of our bubble and let's go engage people on a real way, in a real way to make sure that we understand we're Hollywood. We can't even speak to these people anymore. We can't talk about shit. We're just talking amongst ourselves. That's what I think Sebastian Stan was trying to say. And that's a great take. Again, some folks in Hollywood, it seems like still got their head screwed on straight. Zachary Levi, maybe you should hit this dude up. Say, hey, Sebastian, hey, Seb, come on over here, man. Let's chop it up. Let's talk about making a studio that don't have to deal with no woke shit, number one. But number two, ain't gonna sit up here and be deranged as fuck just because somebody won an election. It's too ridiculous. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Funny as hell in my opinion, all right? But y'all may think different. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.